Hello Capricorn. This is going to be your how they feel about you love reading. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And it's going to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. Check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. Um, this will be a reading for those of you who already have someone in mind or someone that you are connecting with in some way, okay? So let's see what we have for you, Spirit. What messages do you have for Capricorn regarding the person they are interested in or in a connection with at this time? We're going to look at your person's current energies, how they feel about you, what they would tell you if they had the chance, and then we'll do a spread, um, kind of like looking at your connection as a whole. And yes, let's look at the current energies of your person, Capricorn. Spirit, the current energies of the person Capricorn is thinking about at this time for Capricorn. Okay, we got here and now. Okay, we got leg up and a change in the wind. Interesting. Someone's feeling, oh, what I'm picking up so far is that your person might be at a crossroads of some sort. Um, they need to make a change in their current situation and this is not going to be an easy change. Uh, it looks like they're going to need support system or help in some way. Yeah, we got to be fair. This is like the justice card of this deck. So something here it could be legal, what your person is dealing with. Or it could just be that your person is trying to rebalance a situation here, trying to evaluate all of the angles of this situation. This change in the wind to me is, is I'm picking up like tower energy, which is very strange. Um, typically, I think of this as a good change and, you know, change is sometimes necessary, but it's not always comfortable. You know what I mean? Um, I am getting that sense that this change is not going to be a comfortable change. It's going to be a challenge. Um, and I think it has to do something regarding the past and the future. It's almost like someone is evaluating the past in order to have a different future. So let's see. I'm using the Animal Spirit deck here. I'll, um, I list all of the decks that I use in the description box below. So let's see how your person feels about you, Capricorn, or what they think about this connection. Spirit, how does this person think or feel about this connection with Capricorn? How does this person feel or th what do they think about this connection? What are their thoughts and feelings towards Cap Capricorn or this connection? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed, by the way. I read all of your comments. Ooh, we got B. It's all about work, work, work with the B. Um, I'm getting also, I'm picking up a lot of energies. Like there's a lot of energy here when it comes to your connection. Um, this person that you're dealing with might be a workaholic or you might be um, someone that works a lot. Um, this person is also thinking about collaborating. Uh, it's almost like you, you make a good team. With Hawk, uh, this is about kind of seeing things from a different angle. It could also be a message. Let me double check because there's Hawk and Eagle on this in this deck and I always confuse them. Um, so the hawk is watchful. So this person could be watching you um, or is just able to see the bigger picture because um, they're, you know, flying up in the air. The winds are shifting. So that's a change in the wind card. See, the hawk carries news upon its wings and it's sent from divinity itself to deliver it. So they definitely, there's a message coming or being um, sent to you, Capricorn, through spirit whether you know this or not. And I think it has to do with this person you're dealing with. They're watching you. They're seeing things from a different perspective. That energy I picked up from here and now of someone evaluating the past here and looking towards the future. Tell me more about how this person 
thinks or feels about Capricorn or this connection, please. Oh, we got the hummingbird. Beautiful. So this is all air energy here. All of these cards are air energy. Um, let me look up the hummingbird as well. Again, a lot of energy with the hummingbird. Um, the hummingbird, humming, I can't even talk today. Um, the hummingbird, it, it, it flaps its wings so fast that you can barely see it. It kind of just hovers in the air. So this hummingbird returns to the sources daily for nourishment and rejuvenation. Um, follow the way of the hummingbird. You cannot go wrong. Every drop will look against me. Okay, so this is all about um, spirituality being a resource. Almost like coming back to the source. It's also um, an endless well of energy and positivity. That's exactly what I'm picking up here with these cards. There's a lot of energy here. Almost like a lot of emotions almost um, a lot of activity that's what I'm picking up whether you are with this person or not I mean I'm not sure I haven't gotten to the spread yet um, whether you've been talking to this person or not whether you've been near this person physically I still feel an energy between you um, almost like a current Yeah, and the B is all about working together. Um, they're artists at heart and they have bustling, joyous personalities. They might work too hard and if they're too overworked, they sting. So I feel like your person, when they think of your connection, um, I feel like there's going to be, within your connection, there's a feeling of working together, of building something here. Um, of almost like collaborating. That's the energy I'm picking up. It's like this person wants to work with you on something kind of similar to the Three of Pentacles energy where you work within a group setting or something and you kind of like communicate and uh, share ideas and work together. And I think it has to do with the future here. So I don't know if this person has communicated that to you. Um, but I do get that energy of almost like, like I said, like a current, it's like a current running between you. And I don't know if you feel it, Capricorn, but I'm feeling that energy. So let's see, what would this person tell you, Capricorn, if they had the chance? What would this person tell you if they had the chance? What would this person tell you if they had the chance? What would this person say to you? I will protect what I value. Interesting. I don't think I've ever gotten that card before. Okay. So this person's feeling protective over your connection here. They clearly value this. There's, there's value here for this person. Tell me more. What would this person tell Capricorn if they had the chance? Not the right time. So maybe uh, you guys you guys, you and this person, I talk to you guys like you're my friends. Uh, maybe this, you and this person, Capricorn, it just wasn't the right time for you in the past, or maybe now is not the right time. But again, I'm getting that sense of like planning, you know, uh, working together, uh, supporting each other. And then there's this change coming. What else would this person tell Capricorn? Very interesting messages that I'm picking up here. I'm deeply attracted to you. Okay, so there's chemistry. Again, you you know, I'm, I feel like these cards are just reinforcing what I'm feeling. You are always on my mind. This person's thinking about you. And I also think it's mutual. I think you're thinking about this person too because I am picking up, you know, a current is almost like it's like this telepathic connection is, is kind of how I feel. I feel like energetically, you're both on the same page here. So let's get into the tarot and see what we can get for your connection. So this tarot spread that I'm doing, it's it could um, be about you, specifically your person or both of you. So we'll see what comes up. Spirit, tell me more about this connection between Capricorn 
and this person. Tell me more about this connection between Capricorn and this person they're dealing with, Spirit. What can you tell me about this connection? Nine of Swords reversed. I, I get this card a lot in the readings. Um, I think it's been like three readings that I've gotten this exact card. Um, Nine of Swords reversed is all about someone overcoming a stressful or anx anxious situation. Um, this is someone overcoming feeling guilty and um, exhausted by their emotions. Um, they see the light at the end of the tunnel. What else can you tell me? So I feel like someone here in your connection is seeing the light here. Ace of Cups reverse. I think this might be what happened in the past or someone here is just emotionally spent. Uh, Ace of Cups reverse could also be a huge disappointment or just um, someone that's like emotionally um, overwhelmed to the point where they can't give any more emotionally. We'll, we'll clarify all of these and see what that's all about. That could be you, that could be your person, or that could be something that happened in your connection. What else can you tell me about this connection? The star, beautiful Aquarius energy with the star. Um, this is all about healing, renewal, faith, and hope. So something that possibly felt hopeless, I feel like there's hope now. And just as I said that, I got the five of pentacles reversed, which is again, very similar to the nine of swords reversed. It's about coming out of the cold. We, uh, I feel like maybe um, there's been some, I, I'm getting the energy of cold, like your connection has gone cold in some way. Um, either one of you uh, left the other behind or your connection just was never able to really uh, be explored here. And there's been some sort of emotional distance here between you and now someone wants to overcome that. Tell me more about this connection. Spirit, what can you tell me about this connection? Anything else? Ten of Swords. So some sort of ending here with the Ten of Swords that will bring about a new beginning. With the Ten of Swords, the worst is over um, and it's only up from here. So I, I really like that energy. I feel like something here has to change. And remember how I said, I'm, not, I'm picking up that energy of an uncomfortable change. Uh, the Ten of Swords is not a good ending in the sense that it's not an easy ending to go through. I feel like this, this is the energy that I'm getting here. Okay, so bottom of the deck, I have the moon reversed, sign of Pisces here. Um, this is all about a secret being revealed. Uh, this is something unexpected coming to light. This is uh, an illusion being seen for what it truly is. So let's clarify these, these messages and get some more information. Something here came to light either in the past or right now or in the near future, because time is fluid. So something here has come to light or has there's been some, some sort of revelation. Let me clarify these messages for Capricorn, please, Spirit. Let me clarify. These messages for Capricorn, please, Spirit. For Capricorn, please. What do they need to know? Okay, I'm using the Golden Wheel deck here. I love this deck. All right, tell me about this Nine of Swords reverse. Let's start there. What's this Nine of Swords reversed about? For Capricorn, please. Nine of Swords. Eight of Swords. Okay, so maybe someone's not completely out of the woods here. The Empress. Okay, so someone here, it's like they're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, but they're still worried that they won't be able to manifest. Maybe this person's thinking, yeah, and the Magician Reverse. This is all about not being able to manifest or create something, not being able to make something happen here. Somewhere is, someone is worried about that. And look what we have at the bottom of the deck here. The tower. That uncomfortable shakeup. 
I feel like someone is realizing that in order to really change a situation, um, they need to, to overcome their fear, you know, and this is something that they've been kind of stuck in their minds about is, you know, they want to overcome this feeling of not having something happen, of not being able to ever make something work. I feel like there's going to be a tower moment that is going to kind of clear the way here. It's going to be uncomfortable, but I feel like it's going to clear the way for something to actually be able to be manifested. Tell me about this Ace of Cups reversed. Oops. Tell me about this Ace of Cups reversed spirit for Capricorn. Why is the Ace of Cups reversed? Thank you. The sun reversed. So something here was extremely disappointing. Something happened in this connection that left someone feeling heartbroken and just very unhappy. Ten of wands, another ten here. Uh, a burden. This this it's almost like something became a burden. There the emo the um, the overwhelming emotion was a burden. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups reverse. Thank you. Okay, we got the moon reversed again and the seven of pentacles again. So what I'm picking up here is I'm picking up that someone here, I feel like there was a secret or something that came out. Uh, an illusion, a dream, a fantasy was like it burst because it wasn't real. Uh, something here was not what it seemed. And I feel like someone, whoever was involved here with this thing that was not what it seemed, it's like they felt like they wasted their time here. Now, I don't know if this is you, Capricorn. I don't know if this is your person's current situation or if this happened in your connection in the past. Bottom of the deck, I have 10 of wheels reversed. So I'm getting the sense of a lack of stability of security, possibly financial hardship here. This could also be uh, the end of a family unit or a long-term commitment with the 10 of pentacles reversed. So tell me about this, the star. The star is all about healing, renewal, restoring hope, restoring faith. Tell me about the star. Why is the star here? Queen of Wands. Someone still has passion here. Someone wants to take action here to heal this. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. Got Leo over here with the sun as well. Tell me more about the star. Four of Swords. Definitely someone wanting to heal this, this situation. I feel like also with the Four of Swords, I'm picking up uh, not a lot of communication. Tell me more about the star. Someone hasn't spoken up about this. Queen of Swords. King of Pentacles. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Swords. So the, someone wants to heal this uh, a painful ending here. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy with the King of Pentacles here. And Queen of Swords is air energy, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, you could be dealing here with two people. Um... Or it could just be um, someone kind of picking up all of these energies. What I'm picking up here is attraction, wanting to take action, wanting to stabilize a situation, wanting to be secure, um, wanting to be in a commitment, and wanting to be direct. So it could be one person having all of these energies, or it could be separate people here. Uh, I see three people here. Take it how it resonates because I'm reading for a lot of different Capricorns. So it's, the energy is never going to be black and white. OK, I'm not going to be able to tell you, you know, that this Queen of Swords is your mother's, you know, friend or whatever. Like That's not going to I'm not going to be able to do that. But what I can tell you is that um, this King of Pentacles tends to be in a commitment. Um, they tend to already be in a partnership of some sort. Um, I can tell you that this queen of swords is very, um, not, not a very emotional person. They tend to just stick to the facts. Um, also it's very hard to BS them. They see right through people's lies. 
and manipulation. It's very hard to put something past the Queen of Swords. And then we have the Queen of Wands. She tends to be very attractive, uh, charismatic, sexy, um, and a go-getter. She gets what she wants. So we have um, these three, uh, all these energies are kind of mixed here. Um, so it could go, you know, it could go in several ways. This King of Pentacles could be you, Capricorn. Um, you could be in a relationship of some sort at this time, um, or your person is in a relationship at this time or wanting a relationship with you that is stable and long term. They could be wanting to be direct with you, or maybe this King of Pentacles is going to talk to a Queen of Swords uh, energy who's not going to be so open emotionally, right? So just take it how it resonates. But whatever the case here, there's some sort of ending that happened here with these three people or someone wants to heal an ending that happened because i have the ten of swords here at the bottom okay tell me about this five of pentacles reverse someone wants to come out of the cold someone wants to, to stop struggling tell me more about this five of pentacles reverse Three of Pentacles reversed. That could be a third party situation here. If that, if for some of you there is a third party, because I have three people here. Um, but a third party does not have to be another person. It can be anything that interferes in your connection, distance, finances, um, another family member, a friend, etc. Anything that interferes in your connection. Something here wasn't able to work out. Um, someone here wasn't putting in. You know, whatever effort they were putting in was not very good. Uh, something here wasn't able to be built. Tell me more about this Five of Pentacles reversed. There's that Ten of Swords again. We got the Ten of Swords twice here. Actually, this is the third time it shows up. So I think it's very important and significant, this Ten of, Ten of Swords. Either there has been a painful ending or there's going to be a painful ending happening here. Someone could be feeling betrayed. The Ten of Swords is someone feeling stabbed in the back. Um, and you could be stabbed in the back by anybody that's close to you. You know, it could even be a boss that doesn't care about you. You know what I mean? Um, but I feel like there's there's some sort of feeling of being betrayed, possibly being lied to with the moon reversed. Um, someone here, for, for some of you, you feel like you were made a fool. I'm picking that energy up. Tell me more about this Five of... Pentacles reverse and I feel like someone here Two of swords reverse and the king of cups and we got another king here that showed up Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here with the king of cups um, Someone here is very um, there's a lot of emotion involved for someone here um, and this two of swords reverse is like the decision wasn't made or someone refused to make a certain decision. Um, they're stuck making a decision, blocked from making a decision, etc. Someone could be holding back. I have the Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. I feel like someone wants to correct a situation with, to be fair, someone wants to rebalance a situation here, um, wants to come out of the cold. But I feel like either this ending is an ending that left someone feeling very emotionally uh, betrayed and they're still emotional about it or someone here is holding back from having an ending a necessary ending I feel like someone for a lot of you okay not everybody okay but for a lot of you your person has to end a situation in order to fix things with you there has to be a change in order to fix things with you Okay. Um, however, I feel like if your person knows this, they're having a hard time making a decision. Let's, let's see. Tell me more about this 10 of swords over here. I really am getting the sense that a tower moment is kind of going to force this situation. Tell me about this 10 of swords. What's this 10 of swords about? Knight of swords is about truth. It's about knowledge. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. 
I feel like this ending is going to be quick. It's going to come in fast. Yeah, and see? We got the Six of Pentacles upright. This ending is what's going to rebalance the situation. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. One more, please. For this Ten of Swords. Seven of Cups. This ending is going to open up the possibilities. There's going to be options. Ideas. Bottom of the deck, the Hierophant. Sign of Taurus here with the Hierophant. Also, I feel like this has something to do with some sort of commitment, contract. I feel like there has to be an ending to some sort of agreement for a lot of you. And I got that as well with, to be fair, this could be legal. Uh, or some sort of spoken agreement or some some sort of situation that's unbalanced. I feel like it can only be balanced if there is an ending. And I wonder if with the tower and the moon reversed, I wonder if you're going to even see this coming Capricorn. Because usually the moon reversed and the tower, they're unexpected or there's it's like a surprise. A revelation's not always like... Nobody expects a revelation, right? It just happens. Behind that, we have the hangman hey reverse behind the higher font. So I really get the sense of someone being unable to let go, holding back. Again, the energy of holding back. Someone here could be afraid. Afraid of this painful ending because it's going to be uncomfortable. And I think... For some reason, I'm picking up here, like, your person, it's like they don't want to, they don't want to uh, involve you in this mess with, I will protect what I value here. Um, they, they don't want to, it's too much energy, too much going on here, too much happening. And so I feel like in their mind, it's not the right time to go after you because they're dealing with whatever this is down here. And feel free to flip that if it resonates, okay? It could be you that's dealing with this. It could be uh, a third party situation that has to end. But we got the moon reverse twice and we got the 10 of swords. So I really, uh, twice. So I really feel that those two messages are very important. And when you put them together, a revelation is going to bring about an ending. Okay. Thank you so much for watching Capricorn. I hope this resonated with you. I hope you got something out of it. And um, I hope that this message finds you safe. Thank you again to everyone who has shared, liked, subscribed, and left me a comment. If this resonated with you, please leave me a comment and let me know. I love hearing from you. And I hope to see you in another video. Take care.